For 11.2, finding the area of a trapezoid, I give you the formula, 1 half times the height of the trapezoid times the quantity of base 1 plus base 2. So base 1 and base 2 are always going to be parallel of each other. They're never going to touch each other. Um, and it doesn't really matter how you add them. You can add the top plus the bottom or bottom plus the top. It's going to be the same thing. So for, for the first problem here, identify this, my bases and my height is between the bases. So I would have area equals one half times the height, which is five, plus the bases add together, so four plus nine. Now, uh, simplifying this using order of operations, you're gonna wanna have to add the parentheses first. So 9 and 4 would make 13. Now at this point, this is everything here is multiplication. Multiplication is commutative, which means that you can multiply any direction um, in a problem and you get the same answer. So instead of going like 1 half times 5 times 13, I usually just multiply the whole numbers together first, especially if they're odd numbers because they're not divisible by 2. So 5 times 13 gives me 65. And then I take half of that and I get 32.5. Uh, the directions have nothing up here for letter A about rounding, so I'm just going to leave it 32.5. Okay, in part B, um, we're given some extra information. So the bases, first of all, I know that these are the bases, okay? They're never going to touch each other no matter what. Like, keep going, they're never going to. So I've got my bases. Now I have to decide which one is my height. Okay, the height is the distance between base one to base two. This is slanted, so this is not a height. This is definitely your height. So when I look at this, this gives extra information for area. If I had to find perimeter, that would be fine. I would add them all up, but I'm not asking for perimeter. So the area would be one half times five plus your bases, so seven and nine. That would make uh, 16. 16 times 5 gives you 80. And then if I take half of 80, 40 inches squared. Okay, now, um, I gave you these problems first only because usually this is how you will see a trapezoid. When you learn how to draw a trapezoid um, in grade school, you know, this is the typical trapezoid. Now, for C and D, they're pretty much just kind of flipped on their sides. Okay, but you still need to follow the same rules, like which two numbers here would represent your bases? Okay, eventually these two right here would, would come together and meet. So that means that 38 and 13 are going to be your bases. Your height has to be the distance between the two bases, so that's going to be this right here, leaving this to be extra. Okay, so now let's plug it into the formula. So there's your height, and then we have to add your bases. So if I add the bases together, we get 51. And if we multiply these two numbers here, we are going to get... Let me work that out. This number here, 1,667.7. We divide that in half. And we get 833.85. The directions say round to the nearest whole number. So this 8 makes that go up to 834. Okay, for the last problem of the notes today, we have um, basically one that looks like this. It's just been turned on its side. So I got your bases, your height, extra. So one half 
the height times the bases so that would make 20 yep and then if I multiply 5 and 20 that gives us 100 and if we take half of 100 we would get 50 millimeters squared okay. Oops, sorry Today was a simple day.